Verizon is using augmented reality to train its technicians in New York City so they can navigate new construction, older buildings, and manholes. I recently spoke to Verizon about their initiatives. The project started with the idea of improving the way we train our employees um, and trying to immerse them in a more realistic environment, yet trying to reduce costs as we do it and to pick up the pace as we do it so we can train more um, rather than big chunks once a year, train them almost a little bit every day or every other day. Um, and then to always, as a culture at Verizon, we're trying to improve the way we communicate and then share information. So we wrapped our heads around how do you do that and um, the first thing we decided to do as a tech company is use technology. What are your KPIs to measure if this AR project works or not? Yeah, um, I think um, all of the KPIs. Um, I think if you think about all, all of our quality metrics, directly correlate to training. I think um, our speed to build and productivity, I think directly related to uh, the way you communicate and the way you train. I think engagement, employee satisfaction, I think loyalty to the business come out in customer satisfaction. I think if you have happy employees, you're gonna have happy customers. I think if you have loyal employees, you're gonna have loyal customers. And I think if you have employees that feel good about what they're doing in this city, and we rally around how much we're investing in it, and then we have the best network, and they feel they know the information and they're motivated, I think it is, it's not even gonna be a competition. I think we're gonna win. Uh, when was this rolled out and how do you anticipate it scaling across Verizon? Yeah, so we've been rolling it out over the last 90 days and we're in full deployment right now. We're going, um, technically we're set up. We're taking another step and actually going to the garages with the team and doing face-to-face -face communications. I'll call it a mini rally, so to speak, so that everybody feels really comfortable. What that's also allowing us to do is telling them that we want their input, we want their constant feedback, and we're always looking for volunteers. So we're building up our our, um, our, our list of people that want to be engaged in this. I think we have hundreds at this point. And um, we've, we're already starting to see interaction. And we're already starting to see uh, more uh, interaction in terms of hits daily than we thought we would. So it's off, we're off to a good start. Technically, um, new media technology is, is definitely our future. Um, I feel like um, as far as uh, the AR is concerned, training purposes, uh, safety, um, new hires, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be uh, essential for uh, each one of us in a, outside in the field platform. And why do you think technicians are into it? Uh, it's a learning. It's a learning. Anytime uh, you might feel like uh, you might need a little refresh, you could always go to it and then uh, pretty much, you know, refresh, feel like you, you're learning something different, it's learning something new. In terms of the competition to get on camera, I hear you guys are all vying to be a technician star, so to speak. Uh, um, how, yeah. does that, how does that work out in practice? Um, I, I don't know if everybody's trying to be a technician star. You know, I think um, everybody wants to be a part of something, especially something part of something new with new media technology. You know, something new is something different, something innovative.